we need flames. Flames and flames are produced with fossil fuel. And that's why the solution for the EU is to stop to say that we do not want fossil fuel. Saying that you don't want fossil fuel means that you don't want flames. That means that you drop 78% of your energy demand. Energy is work. Physics told us that the energy is the same notion of works. When you measure work is in joule, when you measure energy is in joule. So if you want to work, if you want to life, you need energy. And so just be prepared to more energy demand in the world. All the people that tell you that it will be less have no idea of what the physics is. We will need much, much more energy in the world, not only for our quality of life, but also for Africa and the rest of the world. So we should be prepared to deliver much more energy. And it is what the founder of the EU has thought in the 50s. In 1955, in Messina, in Sicily, they met and they say, what are we going to do now? And they say, we need energy. And not energy, we need cheap and abundant energy. This is the resolution of Messina, cheap and abundant energy. And the EU has worked on that until 2016. Why 2016? Because in December 2015, they agreed the Paris Agreement. And they decided, stop everything. We need to save the planet. And so the EU changed completely its history based on cheap and abundant energy to expensive and restricted energy. And we have what we have said this morning, a total disaster. Can we change that? Yes, we can change that. But we need to go back to what was our future in the past. In 2000, arrived in Brussels, Mrs. Loyola de Palacio, as vice president of the European Commission, in charge of energy and transport. And she said, we want to prepare the security of supply of the EU, because if we do not have energy, we collapse. And we work hard in DG Energy to write the green paper on energy security of supply. You can find it on the internet. And at that time, I was in charge of communication. And so I repeated like a parrot the strategy of the Green Deal. Uh, not the Green Deal, the Green Paper. Not the same thing, not at all. Three things. Diversify the energy sources. That means that we need everything, including coal including nuclear. Diversify the country of supply. Not depend too much on the Arab countries for oil. Not depend too much on Russia for gas. And if you depend on one country, diversify the way to transport this energy. In other words, if you want to import gas from Russia, not everything should pass by Ukraine. What have we done? No more coal, no more nuclear. So we drop the first strategy of the green paper. We rely too much on Russian gas. We drop the second point of the strategy. And we rely on a pipe. You are surprised that we make stupid things? Commission was not stupid in the past. It's because of climate change that we become intelligent. Before, we were stupid. Isn't it? It's the reverse. We were clever. We knew what to do to secure our energy supply, and now we are afraid of everything. The main problem is also to confuse molecules and bits. We are accustomed with bits today, that we change rapidly. An iPhone in two years is uh, dépassé. It's not the same with molecules. And energy are molecules, or a little bit of, uh, of electricity, electron. And you cannot manipulate the molecule. Take the example of hydrogen. Commission certainly have invented the strategy for hydrogen. Who have developed this strategy for hydrogen? John Aldane, in Cambridge, in February 1923, 102 years ago. He was saying, we will lack coal, it's always the same story, we will lack coal, and therefore with windmill we will make electricity and produce hydrogen. 
The Nazi have tried to do that also because they need energy. In 1960, the Commission started to work on that for a different reason. I have no time to explain that. I wrote a book on that. And then suddenly, Mrs. von der Leyen says she's going to do everything with hydrogen. It's really stupid. To produce one mole, or one gram, or what, uh, uh, one kilo as you want, chemistry is one mole of hydrogen, to produce it from water, like Mrs. von der Leyen would like, you need seven times more energy than to produce it from natural gas. So it will never, ever be the case to produce hydrogen from water, that means from electricity. Nobody can do that. Craziness, seven times more energy. But yes, it's fashionable, and we are going to put money in that. And this morning I read that uh, Total Energy is investing with uh, Lair Liquide in Antwerp and here to develop this type of carabistouille, we say in French. Stupid things. It's possible because we give money, per money. And this morning, Mr. Eider denounced that. With public money, you can do a lot of things, but it's not sustainable in time. One day, the bill arrives and you stop it. And we will stop all the stupid things, including the stupid thing of believing that everything will be renewable. Pay attention. In the Commission, when they say renewable, they mean wind and solar not hydro. Eh? You think that we are going to depend only on wind and solar? But it's impossible for the network cannot be stable. You, you think that you should remember the word. In, uh, in, uh, lack of inertia and lack of power of core circuit. Prohibit to have this type of uh, dream. It's ridiculous. Furthermore, electricity can be produced with windmill and solar panel, of course. But electricity represents 22% of our final energy demand. Politicians are always thinking to electricity, but it's 22% of the demand of energy. What are you going to do with the 78% of the remaining? For the remaining, I'm sorry, we need flames. Flames and flames are produced with fossil fuel. And that's why the solution for the EU is to stop to say that we do not want fossil fuel. Saying that you don't want fossil fuel means that you don't want flames. That means that you drop 78% of your energy demand. One minute. Mr. Trump has not made an energy revolution. Not at all. He has made an energy communication revolution. Because everything he is saying was in place, including the fracking. It's Mr. George Michael and Chris Wright which have developed the fracking to produce shale oil and shale gas, which have changed completely the geopolitics of the world. Mrs. von der Leyen, in arriving in Brussels uh, six years ago, said, my commission will be geopolitics. You see the disaster of the geopolitics of the EU? We are wrong in many aspects. I wrote a book, it's uh, available in French, Italian, and English, because we are doing a lot of mistakes, lie, indeed, the title of the book is Energy Lies. And it's time to come back to common sense. I have other thing to say, but time is finished. Thank you very much.